In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 10, Section 3, you know, Calculator on Questions 13 through 15, the last three problems before the grid in. So we know these are the difficult questions, and at the grid ends, question 16, the difficulty level reset. So keep in mind where you are in this section, and uh, in terms of difficulty, it only applies to the math. All right, question 13. In the xy plane, the graph of the function f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 4 has two x-intercepts, what's the distance between the x-intercepts? So this is a parabola in standard form. The x-intercepts, that's where the parabola intersects with the x-axis, the solutions. We have to find the distance. So how do we find the two solutions? We can just factor it, right? It's in standard form. And so let's think about two factors whose product is four and sum is five. So that's just gonna be x plus four, x plus one. So the solutions are negative four and negative one. So if we were to graph this, it's an upward opening parabola, right? It is positive, the x squared. And we want to find the two solutions. Sorry, not the best drawing there. It is negative 4. All right, this would be one point here, and negative 1. And so the distance between these is 3, all right? The absolute value. So the distance is 3c. All right, let's take a look at question 14. What are all values of x that satisfy the equation above? All right, this problem is pretty common. A lot of students make a mistake. I'm gonna show you not the way to do it. This is the way you don't do it, just to reinforce why a lot of students have a tendency to make a mistake. So some students do this academically. They would just solve. And um, first step is to square both sides of the equation. So the square root of uh, 4x squared is just gonna be 4x. And remember, if you square a quantity, so that would mean to FOIL. So I'm just going to multiply that out. We get x squared minus 3x minus 3x is minus 6x, and then plus 9. And we're going to set this equal to 0 to find the solution. So we're going to subtract a 4x from both sides. We get x squared minus 10x plus 9. So we can factor this just like the last problem two factors of 9, product is 9, sum is negative 10, so that's going to be x minus 9, x minus 1. So the solutions are 9 and 1, and here's the mistake a lot of students make. They just arrive at 9 and 1, and they pick C, both. Wrong. Do not do it like this. So a couple of reasons. Even if you did it this way, you still have to see if it satisfies the equation, right? You want to find the solution set. You have to plug these back in. So if you plug this in, let's start with 9. 9 times 4 is 36, the square root of 36 equals 9, that's our x, minus 3, 6. This does work. So we know that 9 works. Let's try 1. Square root of 4, 4 times 1, equals 1 minus 3, right, and negative 2. Okay, this does not work. And let me also tell you why. Some students say, well, isn't the square root of a number plus or minus the value? So why wouldn't negative 2 works? And when you see this question, I'm just going to tell you, the principal square root is always positive. So don't ever pick a negative. It's always positive. And let's go back to the way I recommend doing this. If you're going to have to plug these back in, to, to see if it satisfies. Why waste time using this method? Because the answers are in front of you. So I never want you to do it this way. Whenever you see it satisfies all of the values or the solution set, plug in the answers. And so all you have to do is just plug in nine and then plug in one. Saves a lot of time. So just remember that and don't make that mistake over the negative and make sure you plug it back in. So this the answer is only nine here. So it is B. All right, let's do the last question on this page. Number 15, in the system of equations above, A is a constant. For which of the following values does A, does the system have no solution? This is a pretty common question. Not too difficult for number 15, no solution. What types of lines have no solution? Parallel lines, right? They have the same slope and they're just moving along. They never intersect, but they also have a different y-intercept. If they had the same y-intercept and the same slope, they'd be infinite solutions. It's really the equivalent identical line. And so this is a pretty straightforward question. All you have to do 
is we have to solve for a we don't know what a is but start with the y's we just want to make both of these x's and y's the same and make sure we have a different constant different y intercept you don't have to put them in slope intercept form just make the x's and y's the same and so what i would do here is we have a 2y let's just multiply this top equation by 2 so we get that same 2y and so then we get minus 6x we get plus 2y equals 12 Oh, I think I went outside the border, sorry. 6x, it doesn't look exactly like the way you see it on my screen. So hopefully you can see that. And then uh, now we're just gonna bring down the second equation. You see we have that same 2i. And you always wanna check we have a different constant, which we want because we don't want the same line. And so it's simply to make the x's and y's the same, a would be negative six. All right, 